Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is the FPV Freedom Coalition, and we're here to give you some information about the Advanced Aviation Advisory Committee that happened on October 20th. Uh, that's, that's a long meeting. It could be pretty boring. There's a lot of uh, acronyms and information going around and a lot of uh, waiting and uh, just, just confusing stuff. So we're here to kind of break it down for you, give you a quick overview and summary of what happened and uh, you know, break down some of the, the things that we thought were weird or interesting or uh, are worth it to know. So, uh, yeah, uh, what have we got first, Josh? So, uh, first off, we've got uh, a bunch of new members were uh, announced for the AAAC. Um, and uh, those members are skewed heavily towards uh, advanced air mobility, which is going to be stuff like uh, moving people and moving product uh, via UAS. And uh, so a couple of those... Uh, were uh, a couple of people had to leave and uh unfortunately some of those were our friends but uh on the flip side there's a bunch of there's a couple new people that were excited to kind of see what they do for the for the um aac uh but the big topic is still no uh recreational representation so dave has applied for the last three three or four rounds of uh membership has been uh, declined each time and uh, with no AMA members, there's literally no rec recreational representation. And that's unfortunate because uh, the, uh, the recreational uh, community is the biggest uh, number of operators in the, in the industry. And, uh, you know, being, being able to be a part of uh, key things like the AAC is, is critical for making sure that we can continue to fly. So um the other big topic there was uh faa registration is down versus the initial round um and they're really looking to switch that up and and see if they can't uh get that and the key point for us is that uh with fewer people registered as recreational operators um the uh lower the chances that representation is kind of achieved so and fa uh, the faa is using those numbers that they get right from registration and they're yeah pulling them out during these meetings as examples of how many people and yeah they use them for a lot of things yeah absolutely so dave uh what else did they cover uh, one of the topics was uh, remote identification and really nothing much uh new was uh, was presented so we were hoping to hear a little bit about uh, shielded operations, what's going on there, or we were hoping to hear what's the latest on broadcast modules, and we, uh, we've been close in reporting, and if you want to uh, understand uh, a lot of impact of remote ID, take a look at Joshua Bardwell's interview of me with Blunty about a month ago in September, and uh, so that's it for remote ID, and Alex, you want to pick it up from there? Sure, so uh, we also got a little update on community-based organizations, and CBOs and FRIAs, federal recognized identification areas. And these are things that are several years, months late, but we have been told by Deputy Administrator of the FAA, MIMS, that they are imminent, but we don't have a hard date yet. All right. So uh, also we've got the, the drone safety team uh, is uh, looking for more representation from CBOs that still aren't recognized um, and uh, from FPV racing organizations. So uh, they're looking to branch out a little bit into some of those areas, get a little more uh, representation. Hey, props for the drone safety team for actually looking for some recreational focused uh, folks to, to get engaged on, on that. So um Dan, uh, what's the what's the big uh, big topic that we thought was kind of funny coming from the AAC? Well, it was it's just very very brief, and uh, one of the presenters just sort of snuck it in there as a little side comment. But she mentioned that when talking to law enforcement, uh, somebody didn't even know that a drone was considered an aircraft, and what? that definitely feeds into our perspective that uh, a lot of local law enforcement don't know much about drones and don't know what the rules and regulations are for them. In the drone community. Uh, not everybody really fully understands the FAA's role or even, you know, I, I was talking actually with a, with someone, uh, in law enforcement, uh, on vacation, they said, you may wait, drones are aircraft and I almost fell over. Um, so they're not necessarily aware of the FAA's role in regulation of drones and may not actively engage with us. So, yeah, one of the big topics there was educating law enforcement, right? So 
Um, even more so, uh, the uh, law enforcement doesn't really understand the FAA's role in drones and, and enforcement of those regulations. So, And we're seeing that a lot in different areas of the country where local communities are, uh, communities, cities, counties are, are creating regulations that are at odds with FAA regulations. So uh, it's interesting to, to see that that misunderstanding is kind of, could be kind of widespread. So. Last but not least, two new tasking group assignments have been rolled out. Um, both of them are scheduled to be wrapped up in March of 2023. Tasking group 14 is about as asking the industry to put together a list of recommendations and what the industry can do to okay. accelerate the promulgation yeah, of the BB Loss Arc rules. The other key tasking group is going to be a tasking group on making recommendations on community engagement uh, amongst the different segments of the community. Uh, anything else uh, pertinent that came up in this? Or is that, I think that's about it, right, guys? Yeah, I think that kind of covers the uh, AAAC. I'm glad we got to go through that, and hopefully uh, people get some more information about this uh, this committee. I know this law stuff can get boring, but hopefully we kept it short enough that it was interesting for you. Um, and yeah, we've been the FPV Freedom Coalition. Uh, we're available at fpvfreedomcoalition.org, fpvfc.org, um, where you can find uh, our information to sign up or find out what we do. So thank you guys for joining us. Thanks, guys.